Okay, um, here is, uh, I'll show you how we do the valleys, uh, how we end, um, end, put the end of it, the uh, bottom of it uh, connected with the starters on uh, European style tiles roof. Uh, now, <clears throat> please note on this roof there is architectural disaster and um, this chimney stock it end up really close to the valley sometimes uh, for some mysterious reason um, architects and architects and engineers put chimneys inside the valley which is big no-no it's a really weak point of the roof it's really leak point for the roof but there are ways how to kind of work with it because it is what it is you can't really move the chimney so in this particular case what we did uh, we made a cut in a valley and um, we made the fold so in this case uh, any water flow is going to be going down <clears throat> uh, we will fold it down even more something like that then uh, since this chimney uh, is um, that's a multi-layer so it's pipe inside the pipe inside the pipe so outside pipe won't get uh, really hot uh, during the winter so uh, we can uh, really um, spray foam over here just to keep it uh, even more watertight uh, and then of course it's gonna be uh, <clears throat> uh, the base uh, and um, all the rest of the structures but so let me show you what we do for uh, the edges uh, for the um, uh, if end of our valley so first of all uh, I want to show it on top okay so this is how it comes we want to make sure it comes to the corner and matches with our valley now this is our marks over here and in a perfect world they will end up matching in the middle now if i will cut it like this then um, what's gonna happen in the future this point will become a weak point and uh, the valley can actually have a fracture or break inside over here so uh, we want to avoid this problem so we're gonna create some sort of a breach like that right so that's gonna be our fold point and uh, this is how we're gonna cut it something like that uh, so that's gonna be our cut point okay so uh, basically here is our cut and um, now using this beautiful device we're making couple folds so this one is gonna go all the way Okay, creating edge like that is not only um, aesthetically nice, but uh, since it's gonna be high uh, water flow and uh, snow, uh, we wanna give an extra little bit of a bit of protection on edge against uh, rust or any deterioration or anything like that. Um, and uh, when we have a fold, uh, it's um, uh, double um, sort of uh, metal as well as it is paint over here so i uh, means it's not a fresh cut it's all nice and um, nice and protected now to make the folds uh, better i have a there is a small trick 
uh, you make a little notch on uh, on your line so um, it uh, guarantees that uh, the fold is going to be happening at this point and it's not accidentally shift anyway um, so we do it 90 down so maybe over here now in our particular case I don't need them to be that small Trim it. Uh, the most important part about cutting anything, uh, there is no problem to make an extra cut. There is always a problem when you cut too much and uh, you have to figure out something. It's really hard to glue the shit together. So my suggestion is uh, mark it, cut uh, safely, mark it again, cut again, if you need to do five cuts that's not a big deal, problem is when you cut too much and then you have to redo all over again. Okay, right now let's try to put this valley in. Okay, here we have another element with valley. Uh, pretty interesting one. Um, we have small tiny corner over here of the roof and our valley is more or less terminates in a corner uh, and terminates in a gable. So <clears throat> what are we gonna do? is we will create a diverter like right here this part will go down here again we're gonna uh, create small bridge and then the very important part would be for the gutter guys to install a diverter on a gutters otherwise there is a good chance that water will be shooting uh, down so we will need to talk to gutter guys since this gutter is gonna be re replaced anyway okay uh, let me cut all this and I'll show you how it's gonna look before we install it okay so here is uh, this piece installed uh, we have this diverter, so any water coming from that slope going under the gable is gonna hit, come back down on the valley. <clears throat> any other water, we're trying to make sure that it's shooting on our drip edge, on our starter, and then uh, getting inside the gutter. That's why our starter is. Uh, since our uh, our roof is lifted, our starter is uh, way wider than any standard ones. So <clears throat> that's basically an idea. Okay, thank you.